Chris Lovell here with another edition of Patriot Talk. I am with a special guest, Manny Smotherman. I love it, uh, Amanda. But we're gonna we're gonna go by Manny because that's how she rolls. Um, lo- love that. Um, and we're gonna talk some Liberty Cheer. Okay, in its in its uh, inaugural season and all that, like everything else at, at Liberty. But we wanted to to shine a, a spotlight on kind of what uh, what those girls are are doing and, and everything like that. And it's not just football games and all these things. There's some competitions that have uh, that have just taken place. And so we'll just kind of talk cheerleading because this one right here, Miss Manny, she's uh, she helps at both high schools. And she's like the, let's see, help me out here. You're like choreography expert. You're like stunt expert. You're like, all the, you're just like the expert of all that kind of stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll say expert, but I well, like okay. to think I'm still learning a lot. Okay. Every that's very My humble. Whole, See, you're going to be a good journey. guest. You're gonna, well, okay. So tell me. So tell me how you got into this. Seriously, like, well, how, how did you get into like you know helping high school and girls? And you have a gym off to the side. Yes. Dealing with young, you know, what yes. age group are the like kids from the Three gym? Three to See, that's eighteen. What I was, so a lot, lot of lot of noise and a lot lots of, of energy. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Always okay. lots of. Now, noise. how'd you get into this? Um. So 2020, I guess before the shutdown, there was a. They didn't have a coach, and one of the okay. moms reached out saying, "Over hey, at the high school, yes, okay. at the high school, um, hey, they really need help. They need a coach that knows what they're doing." Um, so I applied, thinking like, "See, right there, I don't know. she's telling on herself. Expert knows what they're doing. Well, so, okay, check that box. <laughs> All right, here we go." <laughs> um, I just applied, thinking I'll, I'll help if I need to. Okay. Um, didn't think I was going to get the job at all because that's like a big deal to. To okay. be a high school cheer coach uh, under, in my world, I think. Uh, uh, under, uh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> um, but I got it, and I was super excited. Um, 2020 was a little rough because we had all the restrictions and oh, yeah. mask wearing, and oh, so it was rough learning on everybody for everything. Learning yeah. that on top of how Lubbock Cooper runs things, okay. um, it was a big learning curve for me to find out like all about game day because normally I'm just competitive cheer, which is totally different than what they do in high school. But I've learned to love the game day side. It's pretty up there with my competitive. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Because, okay. So you were in this, you were in this gym, like outside of uh, your, your, your day to day job with, with uh, competitive cheer, as you said, with, with kids like youth and, and, you know, all age groups. Um, Yes. And it goes on, I guess, mostly all year round. Yes. Okay. May to June. See. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) That you get a few weeks off there. Yes. (laughs) A two week break. (laughs) But, but you're right. UIL or, or in the school, it's, it's a whole different set of parameters and expectations and functions and and all those things. Cause you're, the competitive part is like, okay, we're going to do routines. We're going to go into these cheer competitions and it's like very, you know, and all that, but now you're out. Okay. Get the, get the crowd going. It's mm-hmm. just two kind of two different worlds, but it, yet it's the same thing in, in so many ways. But, um, so I, that's fascinating. Did you, so do you, do you appreciate now being able to like, okay, I've broadened the horizons down. Now I see both sides. of Yes. It. Yeah. And it's way different because in competitive cheer, they're supporting each other and having to motivate each other on the mat. Or in school, game day cheer, they're supporting other people. Right. Okay. On top of yeah. themselves as a team. So the it's a different aspect of cheering. Okay. For right. At what point okay, yeah, I've I've seen the uh, you know, I've seen the documentary. Oh yes. Okay. Cheer. <laughs> I, I also know you know Stephanie Rhodes and Bruce Bills uh-huh. pretty well. You know from my my dealings with with Texas Tech athletics for for many many years, and they're they're really good at what they do. Yes. Um, th- but there's there's like if kids are good, there's like it's just like a, an athlete of any kind. I mean, there there's futures here. Or there's a college education mm-hmm. that can get paid for and all that stuff. H- how how serious are some of these girls about like wanting to go do this at the college level or? Whatever that may be. Is that a thing? Yes. There's a lot of them that I think want to cheer outside of college, but there's just a threshold of, you know, you got to learn to push yourself now okay. and not wait until the last minute because okay. then it's a little too late. It's it's very competitive okay. and it's very selective. 
So. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, speaking of that, um, you had to put a team together over at Liberty. You're starting from scratch. What? How, how did that process go? Like, what were you? What were your expectations? Just kind of take me through that whole dynamic from something that was like nothing, and now you've all of a sudden got a bit of a program. Next year, you'll have what multiple squads? Yes. I guess is the right way to phrase it. Kind of take me through that. Yeah. So um, I was nervous. Obviously, <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, but the girls have been great. They've really been open to learning new things um the splitting the high schools has been tough yeah i don't everybody yeah having no upperclassmen to look up to has been super tough um so they're really just having to listen to me and everything that i tell them and believe me and trust the process of guys i promise this is the way it has to be and a lot of times i have to be the bad guy for that but they've they've trusted the process and it's been really great See, uh, you know, and, and we're just, we're taping this, and Nick Saban, the famous, greatest, one of the greatest college football coaches of all time, just retired at Alabama. He was a big trust the process guy. So yeah. I know I know when I hear her say trust the process, like you're, you're in good company right there. That's, yes. that's good, yes. Um, yeah, and part of being a coach is like you got to be the good cop, the bad cop, yes. the in between. and It's hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta police, police your, your, your locker room and the mat and all, all the terms yes. that you guys would use. When you are okay, so how many how many do you have in your program? At we Liberty? have ten. Ten. Okay. Next year, do you expect to have what two different squads of ten, or you just don't know? It could be any number. We want to have a varsity squad okay. and then a JV squad. Okay, and it's kind of just dependent <clears throat> upon who deserves to make it, kind of thing. Or? Yeah, it'll depend on their skills, um, their grade, what grade they're okay, going into. I got you. Um, so you can kind of stagger it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and have that. Um, threshold yeah or like the levels of yeah I got you giving them time to learn the ways before they join before you turn them loose into the yeah yeah the big um and 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 so you guys are just coming off of so really it it, uh you know at a new school where there wasn't like home football games necessarily and we're kind of like having to make do with that yeah that was weird well yeah <laughs> and, and i'm sure all of it and like for for your group it's like okay let's we're, we're going to be on the road quite a bit or we're just going to kind of get our feet wet and kind of figure this whole thing out and we'll get to the competition stuff in a minute but how was the fall for this group it was weird um but the girls and the moms were very flexible they were willing okay. to do go wherever do whatever we needed to do okay um but the learning process of it all, I think really just the adversity of having to not have home football games, not yeah, having a what, homecoming. Which is your routine. Right. Yeah. 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 The, it was, There's nothing to come home to. Yeah. It's and, all brand new. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And so I think them going through that, it's just going to make us even better next year. Love it. Yeah. Well, and, and you, you you guys, I mean, you did a lot of pep rallies. Yes, we did. Yeah. The, the, I was Three, at some of them, two. and it was it was loud. We're about to have another one. Okay. Yeah. Very it's good. Be See, breaking news right here. Breaking news, February what's the, 2nd. What's the, what's the theme for this Let's one? Let's glow Patriots. See. We're going all out. Okay. So. so like neon and, you know. Neon glow sticks. Okay. I love it. Lights. I love it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan. For, for like the spring sports and, and all these yes. things and just kind of, okay. Yep, uh, we're going to celebrate basketball, soccer, okay. track. Okay. Love it. Take me through getting ready for okay. First of all, too, like these competitions, like whether you're you're talking about your gym outside of it or or in school, it's all routine. I've seen the I've seen the Daytona oh, you know, yeah. footage and how serious and it's pressure very serious. packed. Yes. I've also seen you know and I learned in that documentary too how rough this sport can be. Mm-hmm. You're throwing people in the air. We're catching them. We're hurt, we're you know, you're dealing with head injuries or my knee. I mean, just it's it's a very physically demanding yeah. um, sport, uh, is what it is. And okay, but how when you when you say okay, here's going to be our routine. How do you come up with that? Like, is it something that you've seen and you just kind of put some elements together, like cater it to like the group that I think they can do? Kind of take me through that dynamic, the creative part of it. Um, that's the hardest part for me, honestly. The because everybody says this is what you're the best at, which I think is fascinating. That's crazy that people yes. say that. Yeah. You're, you're, like the, you're like the creative genius behind a lot of this stuff. Well, thank you. That yeah. means a lot. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of trial and error, getting okay. out there, having them do it, and 
sometimes you think it's going to look great and then it doesn't and you're like, scratch that, we're going to do something else. <laughs> um, but some of the times I like them to come up with it with me. Um, Take some ownership. To let of... me know what feels comfortable, okay. um, give them some leadership um, and some, what's the word? Well, yeah, leadership I mean, and... ownership over their own yes. yeah, routine. Yeah, man, yeah. absolutely. And Responsibility. Some. I feel like if they come up with it, they'll like it more mm -hmm. um, and try harder. No different than a, a quarterback having input on what play is right. called. Yeah, all, all those things. Are you uh, – how, how demanding do you have to be when they are, like, not doing what you prefer or as good as you prefer? Like, do you have to be a – the bad cop a lot and like be kind of like push them beyond where they think I they can do, go. but I always tell my girls I'm not a yeller. I don't okay. yell. I just give them speak softly the or... stink face and they know to fix it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and for some reason I'm, I'm apparently really intimidating, but I'm only five foot one. It's, it's probably cause you say <laughs> less. And so it's maybe your words care. Cause like, uh, in that, I keep going back to that document. It's a Netflix documentary. Yes. There's more than one season. You've gotta watch it. It's Trinity funny. Valley, um, Navarro, big junior college powerhouses. And what was her name? Monica Aldama. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Monica would be, she could be rather gruff, but it's, yeah. it's, it's very demanding because that's what these routines are judged on. That's yes. got to be, we got to try to be perfect. It's very difficult to achieve this, but we got to be perfect. Yeah. And I always tell them it's nothing personal. You just have to be coachable. If I tell you that your face is being ugly right now, it's not because you're an ugly person. You're beautiful, but yeah. you have to smile to be in the sport and get the points. So, <laughs> or if you're being selfish for not smiling, it's just because you're not smiling. Yeah. Something as simple as a smile. <laughs> So, okay, and so when you take these these kids, this because you just got back from this UIL competition yes. in, in Fort Worth, downtown Fort mm -hmm. Worth, yes. Uh, how, first of all, how did we do? Um, Liberty got 31st out of 49, so not bad for okay. being mostly freshmen. Okay. They were going against juniors So is and that seniors. what your, your, your roster consists of, mostly freshmen? Yes, we have sophomores? one sophomore. Okay. So. Um, we did have Palm and a Spirit Squad join us, and okay. they helped tremendously. There were our flags, our megaphones, our props that we needed to get those points. Which so is... I'm so thankful that they came with us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done as well as we did. Okay. Um, but all freshmen getting to experience, and that's when I say trust the process. I was just telling them, like, guys, this is how this competition is. Uh, you have to be crazy and psycho and yell. The, and when I say psycho, they laugh at me, but I'm like, you have to be crazy. Like, if you don't feel stupid, you're not doing it right. Okay. And so they got there, and their eyes were big and like, oh, you weren't lying, Coach Manny. I was like, I know. So I'm glad that they got the experience. I'm glad they got to see it. I'm glad they got to see the 5A, 6A schools. Um, what it's supposed to look like. The, what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. They're so good, so creative. Um, we got to stay and watch Cooper, so I thought that was cool for them to – the Cooper – Lovett Cooper came down to support us early, and then we stayed to watch them, and it was a great LCP family moment. That's that's awesome. Yeah, um, we need we need yeah more of those kinds of things. That's awesome. I know Coach Sexton was down there with you guys yes. watching. Yes, uh, Joe is a big fan of yours um, as well. But okay, so you talk about all these elements in the in the in a UIL competition because they're handing out a state championship. Yes. Okay, so this is just like any other sport. Mm -hmm. um, they're handing out a state championship. And, and you're dealing with judges, which is so it can be kind mm -hmm. of subjective. On it's very subjective, <laughs> very subjective. Can you get like a yellow card or red card like in soccer? Because it's my understanding you can like have an issue with the judge and go like explain to me what you saw and why you didn't see it because I didn't see the same thing. Yes, Does I did have happen? to do that one year. Um, oh, I love it! Did you get they? We got our points back because I'm a fighter. Maybe that's where the intimidation <laughs> comes from. But okay, the. Um, there's a situational part in finals where you have to know if you're offense or defense. So the announcer will say, um, the oh, wow. pirates are first and 10. Yeah. No, I, don't, I, I don't know football. Uh, I just know cheerleading. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, but one year they said the Cooper Bulldogs need to make a big stop. And so the girls looked at me and I was like, just do something because we're not the Bulldogs. So they said offense and we got called that that was incorrect. And then you put it back on them and, and say, I said, we're not the... No, sir. <laughs> yeah, not, not in here. Yeah, that's yes, right. So we got our points back for that. Um, but for UIL, there's three sections. There's a band chant, crowd leading section, and then fight song. And you can use whatever you want to. Um, you just have to have certain elements in there, palms, flags, megaphones, music, okay. of course. You can add tumbling if you want to. 
Um, but it's all very subjective. That's the part I don't like about the sport is it can be so subjective just depending on who's judging you that day. But it's just how it is, though. That's how it is, and you have – it's unlike other sports for UIL, for our state competition, we only have three minutes to prove that we deserve to make it to the state championship round, and it's super tough. Well, and that's why, you know, discipline and you're trying to push them because you've got – you're taking a test. Yes. Everybody sees this test, and it's a very short test. Yep, and you got to sell it. (laughs) (laughs) there you you go i'm all about it um when you are when you look at your team and you're trying to put a routine together you know because there's okay help me out here there's back spots yes there's side spots there's bases Mm -hmm. there's flyers do do you like are you like man we need more of this we don't have enough of this i mean because you've got a label these kids and put them in a position to succeed. How does that part when you're, especially when you have a brand new group with right. like 10 kids? Yeah. And this year it's been a lot of, Hey guys, we're going to try new things. We're going to be open-minded. Okay. You're going to put a smile on your face. And if you've never been a base before, you're going to try today. <laughs> and that's when the girls have really stepped it up this year. Okay. Um, people that did not want to be lifted off of the air out on off the ground, got lifted off the ground and they were shaky at first, but, They've done really great. And hopefully everybody's injury free because I know this is. Oh, a, yeah, they, we've been be, great this year. It can be rough. Because mm, uh, it. <laughs> yeah, it can be very physically demanding. Yeah. When you're picking people up, throwing them around, catching them, and uh-huh. basket tosses, and I yeah. mean, the whole thing. How many, so w- with only 10 kids, did everybody get to make the mat? Is that how this would work? Yes. Okay. They were kind of forced into it. Okay. But we loved it. Okay. And everybody um, got. A moment to shine, I think, okay. this year. Good, good. Are you having fun with this? Yes. 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 Yeah. As I consider this my fun job. Okay. Gotcha. Well, they're both fun jobs, but. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, uh, how long, uh, you know, you've been doing the, the gym on the side for how, how many years have you been actually doing that? My gym has been open for 10 years. Okay, so I've a decade. been okay. doing competitive cheer for probably 14. What's the, what's the pinnacle like for, um, like if you if you take a summer squad or like a you know a club squad or whatever, it, we, which is a mixture of different schools and kids mm-hmm. and you know, an all star type deal, what's the pinnacle there? Is it is it Daytona or is it you go to something different? Um, we is go it? to NCA Nationals is in Dallas. That's the biggest nationals that you can just sign up for. Okay, um, which and is then, here coming up pretty quick. Yes, yes, right around the corner. Okay, and then we have uh, D two Summit. Okay, and then. USASF Worlds. Okay, okay. So getting to those, the D2 Summit and, and Worlds is invitation right. only. Okay, yeah, I was about to say you have to um, earn the right to so make So that's it a big though. deal just okay. to even get there. Okay, so. okay. Next year when you have two squads, can you take them to UIL and do NCA, which is what the, the yes. high school is doing? Is that the goal? Yes, okay. that is the goal. Um, it just felt like it was this year just too, it's too yeah, much. Yeah, we were, we were putting our feelers out there trying to get them – some experience okay just to feel out how it's going so (laughs) but they've done really great okay Uh, is it hard for you because you seem quieter more reserved is it hard for you to try to coach them up to be like you got to be loud and crazy even though do as I say not as I do is that kind of um I do you know what I'm asking yeah that part isn't hard it's just hard to I guess get them to understand that I'm not being mean right no i get it yeah it's just you have to do it yeah you don't have a choice you signed okay. up for this this is what the judge wants yeah this is what the, we, we've got to show the right. judge and, the, uh, and the whole trust the process you got to trust me <laughs> yeah I, I i got you now how, how quickly like with uh, with these kids that come into your program how quickly do you kind of go you know what ultimately they're going to be this they're going to be that and all that or and how much versatility is there we're like man they can really do any of these jobs or positions if you will yeah it comes down to you know, most of them have their job, um, but, you know, things happen and you have all to the time adjust and you have and, to adjust. Mm-hmm. And that that's what's great about the group that I have is they're all willing to do whatever I need them to do okay. whenever I need them to do it. Um, they're, yes, ma'am, Coach Manny. Um, so it's really great to have the flexibility in the kids. Okay. See, you, you've, you have command a lot of respect, I res- uh, and I, I respect yes. that. Thank I appreciate you. that. Yeah, I appreciate that. So um, 
year two, because in, in y'all's, you know, so I guess from your standpoint, you're kind of doing this all year round, but really this high school stuff, it can be mostly all year round because you've got like here, we, we are in mid January now, but like in March, you have tryouts and things like mm-hmm. that for the following, and yes. it just here we go again, yep. right? Okay. It's like a never ending cycle. Do you like that or does that stress you out? I'm always stressed. <laughs> 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 you, you, don't, you, you don't. You don't. You don't seem like that. You don't people don't. Like I hold it in very well. You, but. you, you know what? You, you, you know what? I, I would assess you. You seem like you're like the 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 duck floating on the pond. That's just nice and calm. Uh, and but then the feet underwater. The, yes, <laughs> underneath the, the oh feet are paddling like crazy. Yes. Why are you? And you're stressed just because we, we're working on the next routine or the competition's yeah. coming up. Or I'm a people pleaser. Okay. Which is weird for this position, but. Well, but that's what this, I mean. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's hard to say no. Okay. I'm working on that. If I'm too busy, I'll still say yes. We can totally do that. Like, I have time. Uh, and but, you don't. So is that yeah. maybe, okay. But the the what gets me excited is the girls being excited for it. So I have to make sure that they're motivated and I can't let them see me stressed or else they'll just be stressed and then that's, that's good coaching. it's an evil cycle yeah they, they, <laughs> they, it, it feeds off of each other yes okay so do, do you expect to like kind of be involved in wood cheer in this city for a long long time then is that your goal? i hope so yeah that's your hope so yeah. i mean yeah i mean I, I hope that you are um uh and and i i thought it was fun to kind of shine a light on the first of all t- give me some names on your team over at liberty right now so we can kind of know who some of those folks are you don't have to name off the but do you have anybody because you can do all state in this stuff i mean you can i mean is there anybody you want to yes, mention yes they're junior and senior year they okay can do all they can state. do all state okay um cammy veal has been great okay. very motivating lexi gregory amazing atiana is our sophomore okay she's been great at being the i call her the mama okay the squad right. yeah well the, the <laughs> really old, getting the, the old ducks one. yeah in that's a row. right yeah uh Kaylee Fincher is such a hard worker. Okay. Addie and Nayeli will do anything that I ask them to do. Riverson, same way. She's always so positive. Okay. And then Kaylee McKee, she's a hard worker. She is so funny. Cracks me up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when how, how many days a week are they practicing? Or do you have, like, functions for them? And like, how busy are these kids with just with this role? They're pretty busy. Um, just che- I mean, some of them are doing outside sports, so it's even yeah. harder to work around the schedules. But before we went to state, we were doing morning practices every other day. And then when we didn't have morning practice, we had our cheer class. So And then most of them are also on competitive teams at other gyms. So... Okay. They're always doing cheerleading. Okay. Cheer is life. <laughs> <laughs> put it on the shirt. Yes, cheer yeah, is put life. it on the shirt. And, and it's probably, you know, when, when one of them gets dinged up, it's probably hard because, I mean, they're going to miss a ton. And, and it's a rough sport. It's very yeah. physically demanding. And it's a, are you hurt or are you hurting? Do you have See, a headache? Yeah. Or, <laughs> or are you just having yeah. a bad day? Did you have a shot in your arm? Yeah, that's Does right. it hurt? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, I appreciate you spending some time with yes, me today. Thank this you this so was much. a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll do this again next year okay, and uh, in year two. Uh, when when things are flourishing and you got more kids, life you know cheers life you know more life. more 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 going on with uh, with over at Liberty. But uh, you've been a great addition over there. I know that. Thank so, you so much. Um, we appreciate it. But anyway, we'll wrap this up for that's been another edition of Patriot Talk for Chris Level, for Manny Smotherman, my producer and engineer Colton Coons. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.